Run, something inside him said. Run. The great crushing thing, the great cylinder, had stopped. Perhaps it was safe here for a little while. How quickly it learned to use its legs and its trunk. But these things were not so much learned as they were remembered. Perhaps, the little Trebum thought, they were a gift from the strange voice it heard in its mind. That too was a kind of memory. Just when it was starting to get used to its legs, the food from the jumping creature gave it new ones. With the right substance as a catalyst, a trebum can transform and adapt to many challenges. The Trebum was drawn to a bright light, or perhaps to the creature next to it. Except for the grass growing on the old one's head, they were very much alike. Surrounded by this light, the Trebum knew things it had not known before. It knew the older Trebum had carried this light for a long, long time. And it knew that now that responsibility had passed to the next generation. Yes, this young Trebum had to carry the light to those great towers in the distance. It could have stayed here to learn many old things. But the cylinder would not allow it. Run, the inner voice said, run. The towers would not stop the cylinder unless they were activated. Quickly, the Trebom had to step on the symbol or the cylinder would not be stopped. voice inside the Trebum's memories assured it that while the tower stood, the Trebum would be safe. The power of the eternal cylinder was contained for now. This 
relative tranquility gave the Trebum a chance to think about its family. Trebum are not meant to live alone, so where were the others? one of his siblings inside. The egg had been abandoned, but it could still be made to hatch. All that was needed was a source of heat. This door had been built for Trebum. It gave them hope that in this large and dangerous world, some places had been made for them. Thank you.